Hi everyone, welcome to Sunday Stamping Tips, Techniques, and More. Today we're going to be using the Beautiful Moment stamp set, which I've had for a while and I've never used it. So I actually uh, am going to be coloring all three images, but three different ways. I have already done this one and I've used the Stampin' Blends markers. And here she is. Um, and I've used thick whisper white background, some papers out of the Boho Indigo um, product medley kit. And uh, I stamped in Memento Tuxedo Black, colored her in Misty Moonlight Light and Dark, So Saffron with a little Mango Melody thrown in, and Dark and Light Old Olive. And I actually used um, this stamp and added some more greenery around her and um, so I didn't do any watercoloring and then I stamped there's two little butterflies in the kit in the stamp set one is like a full um, front view and one is a side view flying so I've stamped a few of them and colored them in purple posy and magenta madness and then I brought in the In Color 2019-21 to 21 in Seaside Spray terra Terracotta Tile. No, I'm sorry, Rococo Rose and Pretty Peacock. And I think, oh, and I used, um, I like to use Petal Pink Light and Dark for the skin tone most of the time. So that's what I used there. And that's about it. It's on Whisper White. Um, so that's one way to color and I don't know that I'll do that on today's video because Most of the time when I do my lives, I'm using the blends to color. So you've seen me do that um, very simple Coloring I will just say I used the dark to do the lines that were already there in the line drawing and around the edges and things and then filled it in with the lighter colors same on the arms and the hair I used a little bit of mango melody in where the darker streaks were so that's all i did on that and inside i just put an extra strip with an extra piece of whisper white okay so the next one we're going to be doing are these little girls and i thought what i'd do this time is bring in some of the um playing with patterns paper and we're going to use this one which has Calypso Coral and Crushed Curry in it. Now there appears to be a pink in here, but they did not call that out in the matching color. So I guess Blushing Bride is probably the closest to it. So I may bring that in, but um, what I thought I would do for this one is use Stampin' Up's colored pencils and they're watercolor pencils. And I haven't used them in a while. We have two sets. Um, this is the, the larger set it's number 141709 and then there's this one 149014 and you can kind of see the colors there they're in stampin ups 2020 to 2021 annual catalog and i brought out the colors of calypso coral crushed curry um i did also bring out flirty flamingo because there's no blushing bride or anything for a pink and i did also bring out early espresso which i thought that with crushed curry maybe i can do something for the sand and then i also did bring out um bermuda bay and coastal cabana i thought i could use the bermuda bay perhaps um Actually, I'm going to bring out Balmy Blue maybe for the background. And then, um, let me see if I can find it. Yeah, here. Balmy Blue. Um, because there's not a pool party in here. So I'm either going to have to use Coastal Cabana for the background, which maybe I'll do. Or Balmy Blue. And we'll see. And then Stampin' Up! has new water painters now. They come in a set of three. And I'm using the finest tip. Um, I don't know if you're going to be able to see these without me taking them apart, but this one is like a medium tip. There you can see it. And then this one is a very wide tip for more like for backgrounds. I have water condensation in there, but I'm only going to be using the fine tip because this is a small image. I've stamped it in Memento Tuxedo Black and I'm going to color it. Um, I'm sorry, and I cut it out with the stitched circle 
uh, stitch shape dies the second largest and it just fits you can see her hairline and some of the sand is going off the bottom but that's okay and then I cut a piece of Calypso coral out with the largest one with the stitching and then this piece of paper and then we'll have to do some stamping for the sentiment when we're done and then I thought for um, the last image that we'll do which will be this one I think we will just watercolor with inks on that one so let's get started on this one and then I'll pause after we get this one done um, and so forth so let's see what we want to do here I think um, let's make their dresses the calypso coral maybe with a little flirty flamingo in and yeah let's start there I'm going to actually just, it's been a while since I used these, so we'll see how it goes. They go on pretty smooth. I'm going to go around all the edges first. And then I'll color them in. And I'm not going to worry too much about streaking. Now another thing we could do is use... Um, the blender pens which I also have here and they come in a set of three uh, it says for blending chalks and water-based inks but they work fine with these pencils as well so I actually like them a lot and we'll do both their dresses but I might add some pink in like I said and I'm going to go under her hairline here these cute little girls at the beach they remind me of my granddaughters older and younger a little bit further apart in age in, in my case um, one is just turned 16 and the other is like seven and a half <laughs> all right so I'm going to go ahead and color this one in And then we'll use the watercolors when we're done and just after we're done coloring everything and kind of blend it out a little bit. And let's do this one too. Little girls really like pink, so I, most of them, not all. Um, so I think I'm going to add more pink to the little girl. Give her a little pinky pink. Because there's pink in that background paper, but I don't know what color it is. Oops, well, I guess we'll do it with both. Create our own color. <laughs> and I don't profess to be an expert colorist, or whatever you want to call it. But I do the best I can, and I do enjoy it. Now, um, we don't really have a skin tone. Hmm. So we might, it's probably good, I might go a little heavier on the flirty flamingo in this, because we might have to use the Calypso Coral for the skin tone. I usually use Petal Pink uh, when I'm using the inks and things, which we'll do on the next one. Um, and we don't really even have a lightish brown. Um, yeah. I think we used... Alright, so let's do the... Uh, very lightly, I'm going to do the arms in Crush Curry. I'm just going to do it very lightly because I'm going to try and blend that out better with the water pen. And before I go too far with that, we're going to see how that works. Alright, let's try the water pen and see how the, how the fleshy part blends out. And I'm going to... Oh, we got a bubble there. 
There we go. All right, let me get some paper toweling. Have a roll down here. I try and use it sparingly because, you know, things are getting a little weird. All right. I don't want that much water. I'm using um, a thick Whisper White. That's too much water still. But it does blend pretty well. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're looking for a watercolor look, right? We don't want them really to have a sunburnt look. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and do their dresses while we're here. Now I did use tux, uh, Memento Tuxedo Black. Sorry for the silence there. I'm going to do her arm here a little bit. I might add a little more color to that arm. Let me let that dry a bit. I'm going to do their hair next. And I will use Crushed Curry for that. I'm going to go a little darker on that. And I might add a touch of the early espresso in just to um, blend it out a little bit. You know, not have bright yellow hair. <laughs> right? Looks a little unnatural, so let's just add a little, little bit of We'll make it sandy blonde, I guess is what I'm saying. Now my oldest granddaughter actually has darker hair now. And the youngest um, has a lighter brown. A little bit lighter brown. And my daughter's is blonde. Um, going on gray. <laughs> like me. Like me. Oops, not that one, Deb. Okay, let's try the water with that. The, the water really comes out fast on these, even the small one. So, be careful with that. I'm keeping the toweling handy so I can take off excess water and Spread the color around a little bit, but dab it off every now and then. They do recommend you use, I think, stays on when water coloring, but I used a Memento Tuxedo Black and it seems to be doing fine. I guess if you heavily saturated it, it would not. Okay, now let's do their little pails, and I think we'll use Bermuda Bay for their pails. Isn't that funny? I think they got the colors on possibly wrong, because the Bermuda Bay looks lighter than the Coastal Cabana one. Huh. Let me see something. That's Bermuda Bay. Well, the colors are definitely right, but the tips are a little misleading to me. I'm going to save the Coastal Cabana in case I want that for the background. We're going to do Bermuda Bay for their buckets. I don't want too many colors.
I got a little too much on that one. Sorry if I'm quiet. <laughs> All kinds of noises outside today. I was trying to see. I don't know if somebody got flooded in their basement or what, but I keep hearing um, sort of like um, you know, like a shop vac or something, or a vacuum cleaner. But if it's a vacuum cleaner, they've been doing it a long time today. I'm actually trying to pick up some of the color on this and move it to the other side. There, I think that'll do. And then we'll go back to crushed curry. I think I'm going to kind of do the early espresso and then lay down the crushed curry for the sand. Put a little bit in. I don't mind it going on that part there. And then this mixed in. Sandy Beach. All right, so let's do that. just going to go with, I guess, Coastal Cabana. Let me see Balmy Blue. Seems a little too dark to me. Let's go with Coastal Cabana. Very lightly. Around them. Don't want it to be a lot. I'm going to actually start at the top. Oops, a little bit too much water. There we go. If I had been using watercolor paper, I wouldn't have worried about that, but that was a little bit too much for this paper. You don't want it saturated because the, the paper will start to come apart. And I think that's enough. Okay, pretty good. Um, I wish I had a different color for their skin, but I didn't in the um, colored pencils. So let's go ahead while that's drying and stamp our next image. Let me get a piece of, I think this is Thick Whisper White. So let's go ahead and get the other image out with the, the larger lady. And little girl. Mm. Try to see. Okay. I'll take this one off and put her back. And we'll use the same um, ink. Put 
put it about. Let me put this one more in the middle in case I want to cut it with a, an oval. I'm not sure um, that I have an oval big enough. We'll see. And I haven't picked out a background for this one, so we might do that in a bit. All right, let's put that aside for a minute. Let's assemble this other card and stamp our sentiment because it's dry enough now, I think. Okay, um, and I don't know how much glue I have left, but I have another one on standby. Yeah, this one is empty. Okay, let's get the other one. Oops. Dropsy. <laughs> My desk is closing in on me about that. And we'll try and center that. Now you could also texturize your circle. It's still a little bit damp where that water blobbed out. But that's super cute. And we're going to go ahead and glue this down. This is the Playing With Patterns Designer Series Paper from the Annual Catalog. It is one of my favorites in the Annual Catalog this year because it's got so many um, variations. You see, the next one, I think we're going to use a one that has more purple posy in it, and we'll see what we can do with that. And I think... We're going to glue that down, but we're going to give it a minute and stamp our sentiment, which is going to be Collect Beautiful Moments. And let me find a piece of white scrap. How big? Okay. We'll stamp it on here, and I think we'll use Calypso Coral. Move these blender pens, put them away. I'm not going to use those today. I think that's going to be really pretty. I have to decide how I want to put that on. Um, I may put it on Calypso Coral cardstock as well. Let me see if I have a scrap. Yes, I think I do. I think I do. And there are a few scraps. So let's see if this, oh my gosh, that'll fit pretty, pretty well, beautifully. Oh my gosh. All right, let me turn this down to, let me close this up first. Two, let's see, four and um, and an eighth. I don't know if that's a sixteenth or an eighth on here. I think eighth is right there, and that should fit across here. Yep. And then this one I'll cut down to three and seven eighths actually, and try that. I think that's perfect. <laughs> perfect. All right. So let's glue them together. I have scrap paper down. Sorry. I just don't want to make a horrible mess. And then we'll put some embellishments on. So let's just glue this down. Right up here. And I don't know. I all centered that and I maybe shouldn't have, but I can maybe put a bow right there or something. Maybe I should have put this over this way. I think I will. I think I'll actually cut this. Let me get a little pencil mark. Right about here. I just have it line up with the edge there <clears throat> to add some balance to the card and like that 
and I think I like that better. If I had kept that centered, I maybe would have not done that. And I'm not using dimensionals this time. How about that? Now, let me see what um, embellishments we have. Uh, I'm looking for the ones that are playing with patterns. And I know we have Costa Cabana, but I'm not really... Oh, perfect. The crushed curry. The crushed curry will do beautifully. So let's just put... big one over here and a medium maybe down here and I'm actually thinking yeah maybe a little one there I felt like I needed it over there but I'm gonna go with that we'll keep them out maybe we'll end up using them on the next one and I think that is our card. So that's one way to watercolor with our watercolor pencils or to color. You don't have to water them. You can just use them for coloring. So let me put them away because we're going to try a different method now and I'll be right back. Hi everyone. Okay, so uh, what I decided for the next one is um, I have a purple posy card base and I have this um, decorative paper from the playing with patterns we could also use that let's see which one I like better and then I have this was a scrap but I I just had to cut about a half inch off to make it the same as this which is five and three eighths by four and one eighth and I'm not sure how wide that is let's see um, it is about three and a quarter as is this this is three and a quarter by ooh. By, uh, ooh, <laughs> by four and three quarter um, and then I just have a little bit sticking out the top so I didn't have a piece wide enough already oh, I don't know what I have a fuzzy from Al already cut wide enough to um, go out from the side so but I'm gonna use it I'm gonna use it and see now I'm kind of thinking I like the stripe to add a little more pop of color and give us more choices in here. Let me see, because otherwise it looks to me too purple. Yep, I'm going to go with the stripe. And then I'm going to call that Blushing Bride, even though they don't say it's probably just a lighter Calypso Coral. This is Light and Dark Crushed Curry and then Purple Posy. Or the other option is we could leave it on the Purple Posy side. And I haven't used this ribbon yet. Let me just see. And we could wrap this around it. Maybe the dark up like that. That's another option. Well, we will decide that later, but I know I'm going to use Purple Posy for their dresses. And although we're not supposed to use the ink, we do have the Stampin' Write marker. So I'm going to use that as my ink. Um, again, I also brought in Calypso Coral, Crushed Curry, and Coastal Cabana, and I may bring in also Pool Party because I think that is lighter and I prefer that. So I have also the stamp pads for Calypso Coral, Coastal Cabana, Crushed Curry, and let me bring Pool Party. So you can use them interchangeably with these with the water brush. So let me move this out of the way and let's get started. I have my paper toweling here and we'll do the dresses first and um, let's see if I use pool party for the sky which is this one. Crushed curry for their hair. Maybe with a little, um, see this time I can use a little crumb cake or Sahara sand with it or use that for the sand and this for their hair and I don't know that I'll use Coastal Cabana and I think I'm going to actually use Petal Pink 
for their skin tone and not the Calypso Coral. So let's, let's start there. So I'm going to take the brush end of this and just see if we can get some ink on here. It's feeling a little squeaky dry, but we'll give it some water and see what happens. Hmm. Okay, it has a little bit of color to it, not a whole lot. It'll be pretty pale. That's pretty pale. Let's see if we can get a little more, a little more color going here. I don't know. I don't know, guys. We may have to switch colors. All right, let's use um, Highland Heather. Um, actually, let me use the marker since it's, it might be easier for me. Let's use Highland Heather. I think we'll get a little more color out of that, perhaps. A little bit more color. Yeah. Okay. Well, that came up pretty dark. So we have a mix of Purple Posy and Highland Heather. A little darker right here. Put a little more color down. I think you might do better with your um, ink pads for these. Now, I've had my markers for a while, so it's also, you know, they have color. It's really hard to see it on the block. I'm going where the lines are first. I'm just pulling, pulling the color down. I'm not an expert watercolorer, but, you know, I learn as I go. I hope you learn with me. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can get these blended out just a little better. Okay. And for hers, um, let me wipe that off, actually. Yeah, I had plenty of color on there. All right, let's see. I think I'm going to use a different color. Maybe that's where I'll use Coastal Cabana. Coastal Cabana. Yeah. See, at least we can see that one, right? We don't want too much water on it first. This is the small tip again. I'm just using the small tip because I don't have a big area. Now maybe when I get to the, the background color, I'll use the larger tip. Let me blend that very good right there. Yeah, I got a little more water on to blend that one spot better. And I got it pretty wet, so it is bleeding a little there. All right, let's do their skin tone. And um, get a different block. Let's try the petal pink and see what happens. Yeah, I can definitely see it on there, so we'll give that a try. And just make sure your water brush is clean, because I had, you know, Costa Cabana on it. And let's do the arms first. I like petal pink for skin tone. Sort of a peachy, peachy pink, not real bright. And I'm holding hands. I miss those days. <laughs> holding hands with the little ones. 
Where does time go, you know? You get so busy sometimes, right? With um, caught up in the moment that we don't realize how precious things are till that time's gone, right? And you get caught up in the moment and everything seems horrible or critical and got to do this and got to do that and we don't slow down and take time until those moments are gone forever. And that's sad. Speaking for myself, <laughs> some people may be wiser than me for their years. <laughs> and if not, young people, take heed. Enjoy the moment. Take time to smell the roses, as they say. Which basically means slow it down a little. I know everybody's probably saying, yeah, we've had plenty of time to slow it down lately, but I'm just saying try to remember what's important in life and enjoy that time. Okay, that part's pretty good, I think. Let me wipe that block off and this one. Now let's do the hair and we'll use dun, 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 crushed curry. Oh yeah, that comes out real bright. I think I'm going to put a little crumb cake on the side here too and blend them together a little bit. Get some dirty blonde hair going here. Perhaps. <laughs> yeah, that's better because I think the crushed curry would have been far too bright. I don't mind it being a little brighter yellow for the little one. Right? She's got little bangs. <laughs> Funny that I'm doing blonde hair because well, my brother was blonde. He got the blonde hair. I didn't. And my mother had dark hair and um, my son has dark hair. His father has blonde hair. That's weird, huh? Just whatever genes. Okay, now let's use is this Sahara sand. Will you try Sahara sand? I don't, I don't use Sahara sand a whole lot. Maybe because it's really pale. <laughs> So we're going to try that. Sorry for the squeaking for the um, for the sand down here. Sort of has a greenish tint to it. Hmm. Not sure. I really care for that too much. It has too much green in it. I'm going to put a little. Um, oops, wrong end little crumb cake in with it. Yeah, I think I like the crumb cake better myself. Sahara sand is lighter, but it seems like it has um, a little more greenish hint to it. I don't know. It might just be my eyes and the lighting. <laughs> okay, so let's wipe that off. Sand doesn't have to be perfect, right? Mm. No, it doesn't, Dad. All right, now I think for the pool party, I'm actually going to dab. Let's use um, let's use this block. It's a little bigger. We'll just get some color on the block that way. We'll get more coverage. It's the same ink as in the markers. I didn't really need a whole lot of ink for the other parts. Um, and I said I was now I'm gonna really wet this good and uh, before I put it on. Yeah. Um, start at the top. Oh, that's pretty dark. Yeah. And kind of do a wash.
And this is where watercolor paper would probably be better because this is pretty wet. We may have to heat dry this a little bit. And that's fine. Not real happy with my lack of blending abilities here. <laughs> Okay, I think we'll let it go at that. It's supposed to be watercolor, right? Well, actually, I think it looks pretty good. All right, I'm going to wipe this off. There we go. And bend that over so I don't end up wearing it. Clean my brush real good and put the lid on. And these come in this nice little carrying case. Let's, um, I'm going to heat dry that and I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, so it's pretty dry, a little bit damp, but let's glue this down to here. I did cut up a piece of that ribbon off. I think we'll use this side because now we've got color on here, and I think if I flip this over, um, I didn't really want it with all those other colors. It seemed like it was, com excuse me, competing. So first thing is let's glue um, this down across here and I want it to be the dark up. Um, actually, I think I wanted to go, let me just see which way I want to do it. Now I want this on just here. So I'm going to glue this down on the back here. And I'm going to use Seal Plus for that. So. And we got it pretty straight, a little bit. Yeah, I think it's all right. All right, and then Tombow is what I use most of the time to glue my card bases down because I like to have that few seconds to um, a wiggle room. Now this is a vertical card, vertical opening this way, A2 size card. So you cut your eight and a half by 11 on the long side at four and a quarter and then you score at five and a half. That's the only difference. Now we're going to put this down and I could bump it up on dimensionals but I am not going to. I'm just going to use Tombow and put it over the ribbon and it should be cut the same length as the other paper, just thinner. And now let me dry this a little more. I'll be right back. Okay, our paper is a little bit warped, but we're going with it. Uh, you might want to consider using um, watercolor paper. Right now, Stampin' Ups is on back order, but it's on back order. You can still get it. Uh, it's not like it's not available. And it's a good watercolor paper. It's called Fluid 100. I'm going to put turn this over and push it down this way. Uh, my paper is fairly clean. <laughs> Not perfectly clean because it's dead here, you know. But there. And now we need a sentiment and we need some embellishments. So we're going to um, use the sentiment, thinking of you. And I think I'm going to put it right up here. And. Um, I think I will use Highland Heather to stamp it. I'll get that purple coming in. And then I think we'll just use a circle 
of some kind or a um, punch to punch it out. And this is not shimmery paper, but I had shimmery paper on my um, stamp um, emboss machine, stamp and cut machine, and it transferred onto my plate. So, you know what? I have these stitch circles out, uh, stitch shapes. So, why don't I just see? Do I want that big one? No. That's too little. Okay, that's not going to work. Maybe go the small oval. That'll work. All right, let's try that. And close my ink. Um, I just want to see something. No, too little. Okay, we're going to go with this and I'll be right back. I'm just going to turn around, keep talking like I do on my lives. <laughs> and here we go. Oops. Making sure it stays straight. There we go. And Here's our circle, just getting my die back. There we go. So that can go right up here. And we could, I don't think there's room for this, no. All right, we'll just use that. Um, you know what, I'm gonna take my Highland Heather marker like I do so many times and just go around the edges here. This would actually be a good card for me to send to my daughter. I should have made the lady's hair darker. <laughs> uh, anyway, because it reminds me of her and she loves the beach. She does. I burn at the beach but I love the atmosphere. Um, like walking on the boardwalk or the beach in the early mornings or the evenings. It's about two and a half hours away from here, though. The, um, well, there are some beaches closer, but I have never been to them. I'm going to bump that particular piece up on dimensionals. Um, and I'm going to just cut one of these odd pieces and go through the middle like this there we go I hope you're all having a great Sunday and this isn't uh, well, I don't know all right I'm gonna put that up a little bit to cover so the corners not so um, Straight, I guess is what I'm saying. Now let's bring these in. Um, I actually think I might like to decorate it with the Coastal Cabana color ones now. Or the Purple Posy. My, since I stamped in Purple Posy, let's use Coastal Cabana. I'm going to go with um, medium. Let me think. Maybe right there. And then a small one. Maybe right there and then I think one other sort of medium one over over here 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 up here I think there oops I don't know why that was it there we go piece of something I think that's all I'm gonna do and there is card three I'll do the inside later so this is with the markers and inks which are the same this is with the color watercolor pencils both using the water painters though and then this one is with um blends so you can decide how you like to color and with these you can color with them without using water but i just wanted you to know you can use them with water just like you do your inks and um, so yeah you decide which way you like them those are 
three cards from the Beautiful Moments. Um, and these two are using the Playing With Patterns Designer Series paper. And this one's using paper from the beautiful, well, they're all beautiful, um, Boho Indigo with the Misty Moonlight color on her dress. So I had a lot of fun doing that. I hope you enjoyed Sunday stamping. And I do hope you'll come back Tuesday evening for more projects from the annual catalog. Tuesdays are for annual catalog. Friday, at uh, that's Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern. 4 p.m. Eastern on Fridays is something from something or more than one thing from the August to December 2020 mini catalog. And Sunday stamping can be anything. Uh, I try to focus on tips, techniques, but the end more is a catch-all because um, sometimes I might not have a technique for you. I just feel like stamping and making cards. So, <laughs> yeah. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me and watching. Uh, if you're a subscriber, please go over and check out my new 3K subscriber giveaway video just up. I will try and link it in an iCard somewhere up there. Um, yeah, and I will talk to you the next time. Bye. Hugs, love, and peace.